In this video, I'm gonna cover the current market and the type of listings that are available, the current market prices of those listings, and then the metrics on the 90-day sold properties, including property type and financing terms. We're gonna start off by taking a look at the current market. Just a side note, the numbers you see in the parentheses are last quarter's numbers, so you can compare quarter over quarter and spot any trends within this community. So we have 50 properties that are currently on the market within Winston Trails in Lake Worth, Florida. Now of those 50 properties, we have 10 properties that are on our contract mark contingent. We have 13 properties that are contract mark pending. Just a side note here, I often get the question, what's the difference between the two? And the difference is this, if a property is under contract mark contingent, there's still contingencies left in the contract that need to be fulfilled. Common type are inspections and appraisals. And once those contingencies have been fulfilled, it should then go pending. So think of pending further along in the sales process and closer to closing. Two properties that are accepting backup offers, leaving 25 properties that are currently available to be purchased within this community. Next, we're gonna take a look at the market activity on the 25 listed properties. Now, this is in the last 10 days. We have five properties that are new listings. Just to side note, one of those listings is mine. If you're looking for a gorgeous Lake Worth Winston Trails property with an absolutely decked out backyard with one of the one of only two balconies within this community you can check out my high definition video tour on the link below one property that has come back on the market within the last 10 days and we had two properties that had price changes both to the downside out of the 25 properties that are listed we have 21 that are traditional sales one is a short sale and we have three bank foreclosures Next, we'll take a look at the prices within this community. On the low end, we have asking price of $264,000 for a three bedroom, three bath home with 1840 under air. On the high end, we have $495,000 for a five bedroom, three bath home with 2673 under air. And then the median price of a home in Winston Trails in Lake Worth, Florida comes in at $340,000. Next, we're gonna take a look at the sold properties. Now, this is in the last three months or 90 days, 30 properties have sold. The average sales price came in at $298,000. The average sales price per square foot came in at $142, rising slightly over quarter over quarter. And then the average price per square foot range came in on low end of $105 per square foot, all the way to a high of $168 per square foot. And then the average days on market dropped slightly to 52 days. Next, we're gonna take a look at the sales to list price. This is great information if you're looking to buy a property in there because it tells you as a percentage of the list price what these properties are selling for so you can work out your own pricing strategy. So on the low end, we had 0.83 which means 83% of the list price was paid to acquire this property. Now, in my experience, typically anything under that 0 0.90 means there's something physically wrong with a property that needs to be corrected in order to move it off the market. So they price discount that property, okay? Could be updating, could be you know actual damage. The average a property sells for in Winston Trails is 97% of its list price. Another way to look at this is a 3% discount if you're a buyer looking in. If you're looking to list your home, then 97% of your list price on average is what a property is going for, so you can work out your listing numbers based on you know, this very valuable information. And on the high end, someone paid 9% above the list price for the most sought after home within Winston Trails last quarter. Now we're gonna take a look at the sale types of the homes that closed within the last 90 days. Out of the 30 properties that are closed, 25 were traditional sales. One was a short sale. We had four bank foreclosures. Next, we're gonna take a look at the financing terms of the 30 deals that closed last quarter. Now this is real important information to see what your competition is and what kind of offers they're putting in on the properties. So we had three properties closed with cash. 
16 properties closed with conventional financing. We had nine FHA or VA properties closed and two closed with other financing. If you're looking to sell your Winston Trails home or buy a Winston Trails home, let me put my experience to work for you. Thanks for watching this market report for Winston Trails in Lake Worth, Florida. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, rate and comment, or connect with me on one of my other social media sites. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.